today's video is going to be a motivational talk habits that i have incorporated into my daily life that have helped me become a more positive person i am a recovery from anorexia nervosa depression um and bulimia and i stop myself and i'm like what in the actual am i thinking and saying to myself is look in the mirror and say today is going to be a good day i know that's so cliche you know everyone says look in the mirror and say oh my god you're beautiful but it freaking works the audio is nice because i've got my window opened and it's just the big sh Again, please don't mind my background, but I am in the process of moving. But welcome back to another video. This video is going to be sort of like a sit down, talk, chat kind of video. I have been requested to do this video for quite some time. It's been over six months. I've just had girls constantly saying, you know, Nat, can you please do a video on this? I really like your vibe, your positivity and the way you go about your day, you know, doing everything in your day. You like really inspire me and all those nice comforting words but anyway today's video is going to be a motivational talk habits that I have incorporated into my daily life that have helped me kind of become a more positive person through any situation and any circumstance that I'm put into or that life throws at me so it's going to be a girl talk kind of video and I have written like a little little brainstorming stuff down and it has taken me down memory lane let me tell you that um, which is another sort of like stepping stone to becoming a better person if you are able to go down through bad memories and everything then you are and, 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 and come out of them perfectly fine then you are more inclined to have a more positive thought of your negative experiences if that makes sense but like i said today's video is going to be habits that have literally changed my life and changed the person i am changed my mood changed everything attracted better stuff to me and it's just going to be a video full of positivity so i hope i can bring that on to you girls but welcome back to another video welcome back to another week and welcome back to my channel um if you guys don't follow me on my instagram i do post up daily stories and i'm constantly up to date with your dms and everything i'll pop my little socials on the screen so you guys can go get, check it out and give me a follow and also it'll be in the description bar below so, um i'm going to give you girls a little bit of a backstory to my negativity and my bad experiences in life and i'm not saying this is the worst experience that i've ever had i'm not saying this is the worst experience that anyone has ever had and my lord my throat is already dry but what i am saying is for me and my life and me personally this is the worst experience that i've ever had as you guys know if you guys scroll down my page my um videos i am a person or i have i am a recovery from anorexia nervosa depression um and bulimia anorexia nervosa brings on panic attacks depression and all of those negative stuff as well so i am a recovery from that and i am very proud to say that i am a recovery from anorexia nervosa it's not something that is um easily easily recovered from and i've done it all by myself but if you guys want to check out my videos on that please do i'll pop up cards if you guys want to it'll be in the description bar below um if you guys don't get triggered or anything or if you guys find it inspirational that is my backstory but I'm, i am going to be explaining it in this video a little bit more so i had anorexia at the end of year 11 beginning of year 12 kind of thing and obviously with anorexia comes with bad relationships isolating yourself um it comes with well my my worst relationship with my mum was back then when i had anorexia so you lose everyone that's around you you lose yourself if anything and that's the most important thing you actually lose yourself and you become someone who you aren't and you become someone very bitter and very 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 negative like every day is just a black hole that's the only way i can explain it so coming out of that it was very hard for me me. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I can talk upon or talk on behalf of every other girl or boy who has gone um, through anorexia. It is very hard to come out of and it is very hard to regain yourself back and find yourself again. So um, my mental state and my family state, losing people around me, losing friends, I was completely a Nigel nerd. I locked myself in one of the conference rooms every single lunch, every single recess, and every single free period that I had, like free class that I had in the library. If not, I would literally walk out of school and go home. So that was my backstory. Like I said, the relationship with my mum was horrible and I made really bad choice, really bad. I made really bad choices and really mad that I made really bad choices and I also made really bad habits. Um, habits as in I would self-isolate, I would self-harm, I would um, 
binge and purge. I would hide food in my cupboards. Uh, I would hide food from family. I would just eat chocolate, breakfast, lunch and dinner. I would starve. I would um, constantly think negative of people. I would constantly think that they have something against me. I'd constantly think that everybody hated me. I'd constantly feel like everything that was happening that was negative or bad was my fault. Um, they're the bad habits that I made and you can imagine how much of this poison I was putting into my body by self-harming, by self-criticizing and it's not constructive criticism, it is direct criticism, there's a difference. Constructive criticism is where I would sit down and look at my videos and be like, hmm, I could put more effort into my YouTube channel and I could change my thumbnails to make it look more exciting. I should start doing that or I can be like, you know what, Nat, you need to put in that little bit of extra effort. Nothing comes, you know, served on a gold plate. You need to put in a little bit of extra effort, pump out videos every single week for your YouTube channel for you to grow. But direct criticism is like, well, you're not worth it. Who are you? You're not interesting. Um, it's just criticizing yourself. So it's like being a bully to yourself. So there's a pretty evident line between the two if you ask me. Going directly into it because I've already been sitting here for quite some time talking to you girls. What I personally did, and this wasn't something that happened overnight. My decision, yes, it was overnight. Um, but what I did was I specifically sat down one day and if you guys want to, you know, pop this down, write it down, pop some notes down, or I don't know, like record this or whatever, I'm gonna pop up exactly like a little box of exactly the steps that I took I sat down one night and I had a self-evaluation what is that word called an intervention I had an intervention with myself I brought myself to reality basically slapped myself back into reality I started changing my habits there is no such thing as getting rid of a bad habit there is placing or changing a habit you cannot get rid of a bad habit you can't get rid of a good habit you just can't get rid of habits what you can do though is replace those habits so if you've got a bad habit replace it with a good one for example I used to constantly think food was going to make me gain weight what I did was I used to get the with myself I see it very mad at myself and I used to say no every time I have that thought or that thought process I'm gonna pop something into my mouth this was in a way sort of punishing my brain not to think like that this in a way was saying if I'm gonna have negative thoughts well there's consequences behind it and this later on turned out to be a positive experience of me saying well if I'm thinking of bad stuff about food at random times well it must mean that I am hungry or that I'm peckish that I want to have something to eat so that brought upon the habit of me nourishing my body with right foods I didn't have like crappy foods I had other nuts walnuts uh, pepitas I had fruit on hand or I would go into the fridge and just chuck two spoonfuls of boiled rice in my mouth or a little chicken piece in my mouth so I did nourish my body that brought on the habit of nourishing my body so the first thing the first tip that I can say to you girls is literally changing your bad habits changing your bad habits also comes with changing your thought process as well this is very important your mindset and your thought process is absolutely so important for you to be able to change the person you are or for you for you to be able to make your life a more positive place for your mind and body and changing your mindset is one of the most hardest things that I have ever done you know instead of criticizing myself and I, I'm putting my hand up and I am like admitting to this there was one morning where I woke up and I went to the toilet straight away and I sat on the toilet and I was just like you're not worth it you effing idiot what do you think you're doing you're good for nothing and I stopped myself and I'm like what in the actual Am I thinking and saying to myself right in the daytime as soon as I woke up? Why am I talking to myself like that? I would not talk to my best friend like that. Why am I talking to myself like that? Why am I criticizing myself so early in the morning and putting such negative thoughts into my head? Why? It's only hurting myself. So changing a mindset is very important. I changed that bad habit into waking up in the morning because my bed's right here, as you guys can see, and my toilet is right there. I would get up, we'll walk to the toilet, the first thing I do, I swear to God, is look in the mirror and say, today is going to be a good day. I know that's so cliche. I know everybody says that. I know everyone says, look in the mirror and say, oh my God, you're beautiful. But it freaking works. You need to try it for you to be able to say, oh my God, it doesn't work. And I'd like someone to actually tell me that it doesn't work because you know what, this, it actually does. So waking up in the morning and going directly into the mirror or wherever you got a mirror and saying, you know what, girl, today's going to be a good day. You're going to have a good day. And don't let anyone come between your day. I was talking about this on my um, Instagram too. I would not answer a single phone call until 12 p.m. in like the afternoon where everything was okay. In my head, every single to-do list, like 
for example. The highlighted ones are all the ones that I've completed so far till today and it's like 11 o'clock, yeah 11.30. I would not answer a single phone call because I'm a wog and I proudly say that I am a wog but coming with wog family like background um there's a lot of gossip and a lot of negativity within those phone calls so i would not answer a single phone call till 12 p.m till i am okay with myself i have done my meditation i have done myself talk self-gratitude self you know whatever and then i can tackle on family problems and stuff and be like okay you know what i'm gonna help you in a little bit or okay yes auntie yes okay i get it you're right he's wrong whatever that's one of the first things that i took it was changing my habits uh bad habits into good ones and then also changing my mindset so each time i would self-criticize i would tell myself that i am beautiful and that i'm worthy of everything that i ever wanted and ever dreamed of the second thing that i started to do was i started a new job before the job i started a course so i did a diploma of makeup in napoleon purtis and for two years straight i worked for napoleon purtis and um for about six months i worked side by side with napoleon so setting new goals and setting new ambitions and setting you know a, um, a purpose to your days is the second thing that i did to for myself for me to be a more positive person because you wake up with the thought of oh my god i'm going to tackle this today or oh my god i've got class today let's see what we can do and that brought on with me being one of the fastest people who was uh doing makeup traveling so i used to i was trusted enough in the company where i would go around to every single store and do makeup and i would get followed by my clients that i pick up from every single store um saying hey nat which napoleon are you working at on such and such date i'm going to come get my makeup done so that was really 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 uh, uplifting for me and I ended up working side by side with Napoleon um, whenever he was in Australia in one of their flagship stores in the Northern Beaches so yeah that was that was very very nice the third thing that I did and I accomplished one of my um, very very most wanted uh, goals was finishing tape I finished a diploma course in beauty therapy and um, along with that comes with obviously makeup skincare blah 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 which is why I'm so pedantic about my skincare um, if you guys follow me on my Instagram you would know but that's one of the third things that I did so I finished the second thing was if I started a new goal started a new ambition started a new purpose for living started a new purpose for my day and the third thing was uh, finishing a particular goal and finishing a course and feeling accomplished the second last thing that I did was um, opening up to the ones around me so obviously with anorexia nervosa with depression with with anything with any negativity comes with ruining your relationship and like I mentioned my mother and myself didn't have a really good relationship at the time i remember days where she would scream at me and i would scream at her i'd tell her i hate her i'd swear at her i was such a bitter person and i feel so embarrassed about it i even feel embarrassed about saying it to the entire world but it is the truth and i will tell the truth and i'm not going to hide anything behind closed doors i was a very negative person i swore at my mom i yelled at my mom i used to hate my mom because she always used to tell me to eat more or to fix myself up or that i was doing it for a tension to get me out of rut or she used to say to me that I was um, ugly because I was very thin because obviously nobody wants to get called ugly so yeah anyway but I opened up to my parents and I sat them down and I said look this is what's gonna happen are you guys backing me up and obviously being parents being the lovely parents that they are oh my god this is getting me so emotional being the lovely parents that they are um they were backing me up with everything and every every decision that I made and they did financially support me in every decision that I made so I'm very lucky to have parents like them but if you guys don't have parents or if you guys are older and living on your own opening up to the closest people around you is going to make you feel a lot better so yeah i just opened up to my parents and my sister knew absolutely everything with me anyway so she was like the second half of me she knew everything so i didn't need to open up to her but opening up to your parents or the people that you live with or the closest people that's to you is one of the crucial steps into having a more positive energy because those people will turn around and make your day more positive for you to be able to get out of that rut or get out of that negative thought process and the last thing is obviously changing your mindset and i mentioned this earlier but mindset is one of the most important and the hardest things that i think that you would need to change to become a more positive person changing a mindset is honestly it's a game changer you need to sit down and write every single bad habit and every single bad thought process that you have and then combat that with a good thought process which is what i did it's in my cupboard but i have an old diary of every single 
bad thought, bad process that occurs in the day, I've jotted down this book would come everywhere with me because I'm a person who constantly thinks I don't like to be quiet because then I have a lot of thoughts coming into my head. But I used to write down every single bad thought process that used to come into my head. I used to combat them and write down every single good, you know, thought process or I would combat them with a good thought process. Again, it sounds so cliche, but it works. Trust me when I say this. In saying that though, I would um, go in front of the mirror and I would self-talk, self, you know, give myself self-confidence, if that makes sense. I would say, you're worthy. This is gonna happen. You've dreamt of this. You're gonna achieve it. I would just self talk to myself in such a positive way as if I am cheering on my dear friend, you know, to do what she wants to do in life. Like, I would cheer myself on that hard. I have been talking for 20 minutes now or for a very long time, but in saying that, that's the way I changed um, my life around basically, my thought process. I changed a very negative person back into the positive person that I thought I had lost. So, they're the steps that I took in, in changing me back to my old self and I am very happy and if you guys did like this video please go ahead and give it a like because it supports this channel a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and family so they can give me a follow and a subscribe as well. Don't forget to check out the videos that I've left in the description bar about my anorexia and all of that so it can give you a little insight or maybe it might motivate you to you know eat healthier or be a better person or whatever. But other than that I'll see you guys in my next video which it will be next week.